Hello, hello, I'm Sasha of Sasha Makes Cards, and today I'm here with Crafting Kimmy Stamps for the release recap for the August-September 2024 release. Now today I will also be making a card using one of the new products. However, before I get into that, I wanted to show off the entire release as well as a little bit about each product and a sample I made using that product. Now this release features four stamp sets, one of which is a crafty comeback as well as two stencils, one of which is a two-piece layering stencil. Now, the first product that I want to show off here is the S'more Fun stamp set. It features a total of nine images made up of two main images, as well as seven accessory images, which are perfect for creating little outdoor camping scenes, as well as four matching sentiments. Like I said, an outdoor camping scene, that is exactly the kind of card I made with it. I made this fun little starry night camping scene using one of the main images as well as several of the accessory stamps. Next up is the Air Mail stamp set. Now this stamp set features 11 images, which are three main images as well as eight accessory images and five matching sentiments. Along with this stamp set, which you could also use this with the S'more Fun stamp set, however I used it on this card here, is the Out of This World stencil. Now this stencil features a really fun galaxy image pattern that is perfect for creating either a space theme or kind of a more simple background like I did here. I used this stencil to create this really fun rainbow theme background, which is one of my favorite things to do and also may or may not be what I'm doing today, but that's besides the point. <laughs> now getting into the more Halloween-y products of this release, here we have the Sweet and Spooky stamp set, which is also the stamp set that I'm going to be using to create a card with today. Now this stamp set features 11 images, seven of which are the main images and then four accessory images to go with it and two matching sentiments. As well, here is the two-piece layering stencil set for this release. It's called the Here for the Candy Layering Stencil and again is perfect for Halloween featuring all the different candy throughout the stencil. As for my sample for these products, I created a clean and simple Halloween themed card featuring one of the main images, one of the little ghosties, as well as a sentiment from that stamp set. I actually have a video up on my YouTube channel of how I made this card, so feel free to check it out if you would like to see more about that. Now the last stamp set a part of this release is the Crafty Comeback stamp set called Hey There Pumpkin. It features three main images as well as six sentiments to go with it. Now it's the perfect stamp set for both Halloween and Thanksgiving since it features both more Halloween-y themed sentiments such as Boo and Trick or Treat, as well as more Thanksgiving themed sentiments such as May Our Hearts Be Full of Thanks and Giving. Now the card I created using this stamp set is a very orange themed card featuring one of the main images as well as the sentiment, Hey There Pumpkin. For this card, I also use the Classic Circle Stencil, which is really perfect for anything and everything. And it's one of my favorite stencils that I use quite often. Now, one last thing before I started making a card today is I wanted to show off the stamp of the month for September. Now, although this is not a part of the August-September release, it is this month's stamp of the month, which means if you spend $75 or more before taxes and shipping during the entire month of September on the Crafting Kimmy Stamps website, you will receive this stamp set for completely free. This stamp set is called the Sweet and Spooky Stamp Set and features an adorable little Halloween image as well as a matching sentiment. Now, if you're interested in getting any of these products for yourself, I will leave links to everything in the description below so that you can shop on the Crafting Kimmy Stamps website. Now that we are done with the release recap portion of this video, let's get on to some fun rainbow themed ghost fun. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the Sweet and Spooky stamp set is the stamp set I'm going to be using to make the card today. And I actually already have a video using the stamp set up on my YouTube channel. In that video, as I was doing the voiceover, I had an idea to make a rainbow ghost card. And of course, I just had to make that rainbow ghost card. So that is what I am doing today. Now, this card is going to be kind of similar in the sense that it is, at least to me, a clean and simple card. However, it's also very different. The other card I made using the stamp set featured one of these little ghost images and it was same size card I always make, an A2 size card, today to accommodate for all of the different ghosts as well as a little pumpkin that I'm going to be putting on this card. I'm actually making a slimline card, which measures three and a half inches by eight and a half inches. 
Now, I could have swished and squashed the ghosts all onto an A2 size card, which I was playing around with initially. However, I wanted them to each have their own spotlight moment, so I ended up putting them onto a slimline size card. In this case, I also think the slimline shows off the rainbow gradient I created with the ghosts best. I started off by stamping the six main images, which are five little ghosty friends and then one pumpkin full of candy onto a hundred pound hammer mill cardstock, which is an alcohol marker friendly paper using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I also then stamped on two of the little headbands onto the ghosties, the little devil horns and the little googly eyes. I really wanted to use the headbands as they are too adorable not to use. As always, I am coloring these images using Ohuhu alcohol markers. If you want to rewind the video a little bit, I had a little color combination chart of the different rainbow colors I'm going to be using for the different ghosties today. So feel free to refer back to that and kind of color match according to the different markers that you like to use. Now, I'm only really going to be showing the full coloring process for one of the ghosts. By showing off every single one, it gets kind of repetitive given that it's the same thing over and over again, just with different colors. But basically what I did for each one is I colored the ghost itself, or in the case of the pumpkin, I colored the main part of the image, the rainbow color, and then some extra parts of the image may also be that rainbow color, such as the stripe on the little witch hat is also purple to match the purple ghost. But then most of the accessories ended up being a more neutral gray color combination. I like to use this neutral gray color combination quite often as it really helps the main colors to stand out. And in this case, I didn't want to detract from the rainbow and I think it works perfectly for this. Once I had everything colored in rainbow colors, I then moved on to creating a very simple rainbow gradient strip for the background. Now, since I'm making a slimline card, I took a slimline sized card base or card background and trimmed a small strip off of that so that I could ink blend simple rainbow gradient onto it. I used, of course, a rainbow gradient of Distress Oxide colors. I used candied apple, spiced marmalade, mustard seed, twisted citron, salty ocean, and villainous potion. Now, since I'm ink blending this rainbow gradient onto a fairly thin cardstock strip, I placed the strip onto a, we're going to pretend, very clean little sticky mat to hold it in place while I ink blend it. I'm usually better with cleaning my sticky mats, however, when I reached to grab this one, I realized I hadn't cleaned it from the last time, and I didn't feel like waiting for it to dry, so I just used it as is. But we're just gonna pretend that it's clean. After removing the strip from my very clean sticky mat, I started to finish off the card by gluing down the ghosts onto the rainbow strip that I just created. Now, originally I was gonna just glue down the strip and then glue down the ghosts. However, I decided I wanted to splatter a little bit of black onto the card and I didn't want the black splatter to get onto the ghosts. So I did it a little backwards. I glued down the ghosts onto the strip, then stamped the sentiment, covered the sentiment and splattered the background. Since I used the No Tricks Just Treat sentiment on the last card I created up on my channel using this stamp set, this time I decided to go with the Sweet and Spooky sentiment. To stamp the sentiment onto my slimline card base, I placed it into my stamp positioning tool, did my very best to line it up according to the grid and the markings on the stamp positioning tool, and stamped that right onto the card base. I then cut out a small little scrap of cardstock to cover the sweet and spooky so that it wouldn't get any of the black splatter on it, and then placed some black acrylic paint onto my glass matte work surface, sprayed that with a water bottle, and splattered it right onto the card using a fan brush. To finish off the card, I then glued down the rainbow ghost gradient strip right onto the slimline card base. And there you have it. That is the completed, fairly clean and simple card, if I do say so myself, featuring the new Sweet and Spooky stamp set from the August-September 2024 release at Crafting Kimmy Stamps. Now, of course, as I mentioned earlier, I will be leaving the links for everything, all the products that I shared in the description box below, including the classic circle stencil, which is not a part of this release, just a very good classic stencil that I use a lot and is very handy to have on hand. That will also be linked down below. 
as well as a link to the Crafting Kimmy Stamps Crafty Friends Facebook group. You can keep up with everything Crafting Kimmy Stamps related over there and links to my social media. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.